Squidward, go away! Oh, it's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. Ah! What's going on, everybody? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome to Five Nights at the Krusty Krab. Those of you who have been around the channel for years know that I've already played this game. I played this game like three years ago, back when I was first starting my channel, back when I was first starting to play Five Nights at Freddy's games. So why am I playing it now? I never actually beat the game. I think it was night four where I thought that I encountered a bug and so I stopped playing the game altogether. But I'm back! And we're gonna take down SpongeBob and all of his stupid robotic friends! Let's do this! Night one. Let's do this. Uh, hello? Uh, hello, hello? Hello! Oh, hey. Welcome to your new job at the brand new Krusty Krab restaurant. Uh, so I'm the manager of this store, and I've been given a list of instructions to help you get settled into your new and exciting career with us. We're very glad to have you on board here. So, uh, first off, welcome to the new Krusty Krab. Uh, you may be familiar with some of the older restaurants in the chain, notably the original store as well as the Krusty Krab 2, uh, but this is a brand new store, and as you can tell, in a brand new location. Uh, as you already know, I'm the manager here, uh, appointed by Mr. Krabs himself, to be honest. Uh, and I've selected you as the night watchman here. That means it's your job to watch over the place as well as the other employees for me. Hell yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I should probably let you know, uh, instead of me hiring a brand new crew, uh, Mr. Krabs simply staffed the kitchen here with animatronic replicas of his old employees and neighbors. Krabs isn't known to be the most trusting person, especially with his money and secret recipe. So, I guess it does make a bit of sense. Anyway, speaking of valuables, they're located in a safe behind you, so it's your job to lock down the office in case you see any intruders. You can do this by closing the blast doors on either side of the room. Just bear in mind that at night, we switch over to a backup generator with a limited supply of power. Closing oh, yeah. those blast doors, as well as using any other electrical equipment, will increase the strain on the generator. If you use too much, the restaurant will go dark and you'll be completely vulnerable. Uh, one last thing, if you notice any electrical equipment acting up, like uh, lights flickering or something. Uh, the most likely cause is the animatronics. Uh, they've been designed to draw power from an outside source to save on their own energy costs. So if you notice the office lights flashing, then it, it probably just means they've wandered up onto the landing out the front of you. I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh. Anyway, that's enough for me. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good luck and have a good night. This is already bringing back so many memories. I remember the, I remember the crusty crab pizza and the crabby patty. I remember this stupid fan. I don't think I need to worry about the light switches because I'm gonna be able to see if they're in the doorway. So I just close the door if they appear. I remember it like just slamming down so violently. And I remember, God, I remember this thing over here. I remember, what was it, Cam 7, that Sandy will come over here and mess with the generator and I have to like stop her before she gets over here. Which, God, there's no reason for the light switch. There's enough light for me to actually like see everything. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest, I started to zone out. Like, every, I started to zone out during the phone call, so... I don't know if there's anything... ...particularly important... ...that I missed. I think, what is it, Mr. Krabs is gonna appear in front of me, like, in the mirror, and so I gotta... ...flash my light at him. I have to relearn this game. Like, I can't, I can't remember what I did three years ago. I mean, it's only night one, and it's very rare that a FNAF game will absolutely destroy me during night one. I mean, it happens, and it's happened recently. That I've just been obliterated night one and screaming my head off. But it's fine. Everything's good. Everything's gonna be fantastic. We're halfway through the night already. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, they're moving towards me. There's SpongeBob, there's Mr. Krabs. It's 4 a.m. Where's everyone else? There's Patrick taking a dump. Where's Squidward? Wait, are there vents in this game? Wait a minute, are there vents in this game? Ah! Ah! The lights will flicker on and off! Okay, there's Squidward. Hi! You can't get in, can ya? The lights will flicker on and off. And the walls will ooze green slime! Oh, wait, they always do that. Nothing like quoting Spongebob episodes, right? He's gonna go away, right? I mean, I have plenty of energy, but... I totally wasn't listening to the phone call, because that's a bad habit that I have. Can you go away? Do I have to do something with the backup generator? I don't think so. 
Can he go away, please? Oh, now he's gone. Hooray! It's 5 a.m. We're almost done. Do the lights flicker on and off every time an animatronic comes near me? I think that was a thing. I think I remember that. I mean, I definitely remember the lights flickering on and off, but exactly what causes it. I mean, I know the phone guy told me, but again, we've established. I don't really listen to the phone guy. I usually listen to the phone guy. Usually. Most of the time, I'm pretty good. But there's 6 a.m., night one complete. No deaths. We are currently deathless. Yay! Deathless. Night two. Let's go. Phone guy! Hello again. How was your first night? Fantastic. I hope you didn't get too much trouble. <laughs> um, something I forgot to mention last night. If you've been flicking through your camera feed, uh, you might have noticed that, you know, the one in the fuse room has a door and a light switch similar to the ones in your office. Yeah. Uh, if I were you, I'd keep an eye on that camera just to make sure there's no one sneaking around back there. Mm -hmm. If someone got in, they could do all kinds of nasty stuff to your equipment. Lights could go haywire, doors cease to function. It would not be pretty is all I'll say. Oh, one last thing. Don't ask how, but we discovered something rather interesting about the animatronics today. Uh, sometimes they start behaving oddly, and will even simply stare into space. Uh, it's pretty creepy, but we found that flashing a bright light into their eyes will seems to fix any abnormal behavior. So, uh, make sure you keep that in mind. Uh -huh. I trust you have your flashlight with you. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get going. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a good night. Goodbye. I mean, I flashed my flashlight at Squidward. Took a while for him to leave, but whatever. It's night two. I got this. Ah! Ah! What? Who and where? And why? Wait, where? Who's do- Oh, hey! Let me close that off. Hey! You're blocking my access to the door. I can't close the door, Sandy! Oh, I can't close any of the doors! Sandy, you stupid squirrel. I'm- It's only 1 a.m. Why are you so dumb? All right, have I solidified my death here? Wait. Oh, we're good? Sandy left? Ha! Take that! Oh, my God! Take this. Take all the light. Do I hear someone over here? Okay. Take all the light beams of death. Go away now. Go away. This should work. Go away, please. Please? Shouldn't this be working? I really, I really hope this is working. You know what, I'm gonna close the doors. I know I'm gonna be wasting power, but this guy won't go away. And he's giving me a weird look that I don't like. Squidward, where's your nose? Doesn't really look like Squidward has a nose there. That's like his defining feature, like just this huge bulbous nose, oh. You've left because I've insulted you? Good. Hey! Hey! Okay, he came back. I don't like you, Squidward. I need to, like, go back and review how people played this game because I feel like I'm not doing things correctly. There you go! My God! I wasted so much power just because of stupid Squidward. 4 a.m., 37% power. Wasted a lot of power because of Squidward, and of course I still have this door closed because of Sandy, except Sandy left. And so now I can keep that door open. Which is good. Ah! Jesus! Who? Why and where? Freaking Sandy. Sandy? How did you appear out of nowhere? Sandy appeared out of nothing. Out of literal thin air. Hey, but at least no one's, like, here to attack me. I mean, Spongebob and Patrick don't care about me, and that's fine. I mean, if they want to stay away and be goof-offs and, like, blow bubbles in the bathroom or something, that's fine. Hooray! Bubble party! Oh! I can't close the doors! Squidward, go away! Oh, it's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> Oh, I hate dying at 5 a.m. Okay, how- okay, how, how do I do this? 
Uh oh, wait! Ah! It's Sandy! Sandy's angry that I closed the other door. Now she's coming straight for me. Well, go away, Sandy! Shoes from Texas are dumb. And hats from Texas are dumb. And cows from Texas are dumb. Hey, look at me! Patrick, what am I? Uh, stupid? No, I'm Texas! What's the difference? Nah, but seriously, Sandy, could you go away? You're kind of staying there for quite a while. I think you've been here for like an hour and a half. The lights are flickering on and off. She's still there, right? Yep, she's still there. Okay, keeping that closed. My bad. Oh, oh, ha! Ah! All right, everyone just back off, please. I think Sandy's still here, too. Squidward, you better not. It's 5 a.m. Don't kill me again at 5 a.m. I have 29% power left. Okay? I will survive. You can't kill me. I mean, you can kill me. I mean, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how to deter you, but this seems to be working. You noseless freak! Oh, you're gone. Okay, you're gone. But Sandy's still there because the lights are flickering on and off. My god! Sandy's been here since like 3 a.m. It's gotta be turning to 6 very soon. Like, now. Now. Turn to 6 now. Turn to six now. T turn to six now. There you go. And the lights are still flickering on and off. That's annoying. But whatever. Yay! Night two complete. All right, let's see if we can survive night three. Hey, hey, wow. Night three already? Yeah. You're a real natural at this. Yeah. Mr. Krabs is pretty pleased with the way things have been going. Uh, from what I hear, this restaurant's already made back its cost with interest, so... I'm sure he's happy about that. By the way, have you seen an animatronic around? The thing seems to lurk around the left side of the restaurant during the day. Um, I'm not sure where he might be during the night, but, you know, I keep an eye out for him by the left stairs. Uh-huh. I'll be honest, the initial excitement of working with robots is sort of worn off. They're actually starting to creep me out a little. Um, but I've said too much. I'm sure there are no trouble at night. Anyway, I'll call you again tomorrow, but, you know, only if I need to let you know something. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh, Jesus, already? Who? Why and where? Wait. Who's attacking me? Who's attacking me? Sandy. Sandy! Sandy just bolts down here. It's really annoying. I'm just really happy that all the other animatronics are kind of slow, so it takes them a while for them to get up here and kill me. I mean, it's night three. Maybe they'll speed up a little bit. I mean, we haven't we haven't seen SpongeBob or Patrick yet try to kill us, but I'm sure at least Mr. Krabs is going to be active. Okay, it just turned 3 a.m., and I have not been attacked by any animatronics, nor has Sandy backed away from the generator. Have I broken the game? I feel like... One of the animatronics should have appeared by now. Maybe I broke the game. It's very possible that I might have broken the game. And to be honest, I'm kind of okay with breaking the game at this point. I mean, this is a three-year-old game. Krusty Cray, yeah, pizza is the pizza for you and me. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know what came over me. Well... Night 3 was easy. We're gonna take a little break and end the video here. Uh, I do want to pick this back up and actually complete the game, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. So please click on the end cards at the end of this video. Also be sure that you are subscribed to me to stay up to date with all the other videos that I'll be posting soon. Also, thank you guys for watching this video. I forgot to mention that earlier before I mentioned, like, all the other stuff. But until the next video, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.